Hey everyone, it's the Ride Arm Battle Delaware, and welcome to the first episode of Sustain the Industry, where I publicly do my own part in helping the anime industry by buying a bunch of anime stuff every month and hopefully inspiring everyone watching to do the same. Woo! Okay, uh, I got a bunch of notes on some ripped up composition paper because, you know, I'm just so professional. I got a lot of things to say, so I'm just gonna rip right through this. Uh, first off, thank you so much to everyone who made a, uh, a video about sustaining the industry, about anime industry in general. Because, you know, it's really getting the word out there, and people are getting educated. And what I saw a lot in the comments were that people didn't know that what they were doing was legal. They didn't know downloading, streaming anime, scanlations. They didn't know it was illegal. And you know what? I don't blame them. Because when I first started watching anime online, I didn't know I was stealing. I didn't know it was illegal, because it was just so easy online there for me, easy, free to use. I had no idea, so thanks for that, and thank you to everyone who has positively commented on my video or anyone else's video, um, saying that they're gonna uh, support the industry, they're gonna t t tell their friends about it. It really means a lot, and thank you uh, to everyone. Special thanks to everyone who, who plans to make a video response and participate and join and sustain the industry and any month. You know, you know, it's, and I'm not forcing you guys uh, uh, to do this. Totally, totally. If you if, if you want to, any month. I'm not. I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you to do it any month. Every month. Any month you can. You know, it's not like I have a knife to your throat and I'm like, yo, you better buy some anime DVDs. You better, you better probably make a video every month, man. Yeah. No, um, you know, you may have no money one month. You may have a little extra, uh, extra money next month. You know, and you want to participate. It's totally cool. Uh, the thing about video responses, make sure any video you make, make it as a response to this video or the corresponding month. Um. And uh, please uh, leave, put a similar title to mine, you know, like Sustain the Industry, uh, Anime Industry, uh, Episode 1 through June 2010, whatever. Um, uh, and there were some people who, like, jumped the gun. They jumped the gun. They were, um, they remade their, their episodes. Oh, my phone, my phone. I got text. They remade the episodes, and, like, they made the videos. And you know what? Uh, that's amazing. Uh, they they did that before I even posted the official video. Uh, you know, it really shows how, how many people, how much people care about this, and how much they want to do this, and how eager they are to do this. And it really means a lot. And uh, uh, I guess that's the video responses, right? All right. Please make sure the video responses you leave a response to this video because I'm gonna count all the videos at the end also. So and I want that, and I want yours to be included. So okay. Um. Special thanks goes out to everyone who is joining me uh, to do this every month. Who said they were going to do this every month. They were going to make a video every month. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, you know, that's a lot more than I expected. To name them, BW the Anime Master, AG Acting Girl, uh, DM Friend 25, and Kamikaze Strawberry. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, you know, if you guys missed like a month or two, you know, I'm not going to hang it over your heads or anything. You know, it's totally your participation. Um... Alright, so, another thing. I had this idea floating around in my head after I posted the introduction that, like, what I'm going to do is, uh, I bought everything online, so I'm going to put links to everything I bought in the description just in case anyone's interested, you guys want to buy something. Uh, okay, and I'm going to put everything I bought, the price for each item I bought, and shipping handling for each item. And then there's going to be two totals in the description. It's going to be a total for the prices, all the products, and then a total for the shipping and handling. And... What I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask of everyone making a video response. If you can, if you don't mind, to please also put two totals in your video description of all of everything you bought. What's well, one total, and then shipping, handling, expenses. That's two, uh, the second total. Because what I'm gonna do at the end of the year, what I wanna do, I wanna add up all our sums of, of all our sums, all our totals, into two grand totals. You know, after the last episode, uh, which May May 20, 2011, two grand totals. And it's going to show how much the YouTube anime community spent on uh, anime and how much of it actually goes to the industry. So, uh, please, if you guys can do that, please do. And please be truthful about it, also. Um, okay. So, uh, I guess let's get to the good stuff. Woo! Alright, first up, uh, what I bought? One Piece. Uh, volume 4, now I have volumes 1 through 8. Oh, it's awesome. It's a really good story. I, mean, I like the storyline, the plot. Okay, um, but you know what? Screw you, Ichido Oda, if you think I'm gonna buy 60 volumes of this shit, because you got another thing coming, because you know what? I will. You know why? Because I like it. Damn it. Okay, uh, let me see for that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you guys see? Why is it blurry? Anyway, uh, okay, June 7th. I got this from a vendor off of Amazon. If you notice, uh, the manga volume co actually costs more than the ship. Actually, calls. I'm sorry, the shipping and handling costs more than the manga volume itself. Okay, 
next up. This should be a little obvious. Uh, oops, Full Metal Alchemist Volume 2. Hell yeah, it's my favorite series. Uh, this. Can't see that. I bought it June 10th. Again, the, uh, the shipping handling actually costs more than the manga volume itself. And lastly, the last two products I actually bought from Amazon. Amazon. Um, Dragon Ball Volume 6. You know, I found Dragon Ball so funny. I mean, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be crap because, you know, the, the comedy of Dragon Ball Z, like, I don't like the comedy of Dragon Ball Z. It's, like, cheesy and stupid. So I thought this wasn't even going to be even dumber. But, you know, it's so funny. I laugh so much. Like, I, there's one part in Volume 2 where, like, I, I cr had me rolling for, like, five minutes straight. Uh, I can't believe it. Anyone who has watched the anime Dragon Ball and read the manga, please let me know if the anime is just as funny as the manga. Because if it is, I'm going to have to buy that. Because it's, I, I like it. It's really funny. I'll show you the receipt for that in a second. Now, this is what I was most excited about getting. Naruto, 20, uh, the Uncut Box Set Season 1, 25 episodes. Let me show you real quick. Okay, six discs. Uh, what I like about it is that this is is intact this is good this is secure unlike some you know companies i know <coughs> for animation <coughs> anyway uh this is not this is, i can pull this out with my pinky but you know uh for now it's it's staying in good place what i also didn't like is that there's no paper flap or anything telling me the episodes or the names of the episodes what this they're on you know i'm gonna have to pop in every disc and write it myself which you know i shouldn't have to do but you know miss people keep buying from viz media and like they uh you know maybe they'll have more money to put like a flap in there all right, yeah, I'm, uh, we see for that. Dragon Ball Naruto prices. Now pay attention to the prices of Naruto. It's twenty eight ninety nine. Twenty eight ninety nine. Not even thirty dollars, people. Twenty five episodes for twenty eight ninety nine. That's a heck of a good deal. If that, that's not a, it's not that's not a good deal. I really don't know what is because that's it's just a little over a dollar for each episode. Um. You know, so all you Naruto fans, if you never bought anything from Naruto, I, now is the time to do it. You know, I've been watching Naruto for a long time. It's about the time that I bought something from it. You know, uh, also, if you check, uh, Amazon has that super saver sh uh, shipping thing. I, I had no, I, I had $5 basically discount on, on uh, shipping. No, I wasn't charged shipping because uh, the super saving thing that Amazon has, and you know it takes it takes a couple days longer for your stuff to arrive, but it's totally worth it if you want to save a little money. So, uh, yes, yeah, so this is what I bought. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I wish I could have bought more. July, July, I should have more money though. You know, uh, August, August might be a problem though. August, I might be broke as a joke, but you know, all I gotta do is rob a bank and I should be good. So these are the two, uh, the three manga series that I'm going to be concentrating on. You're going to see me buy a lot of these. As for anime that I'm concentrating on, you're going to have to wait till the next episode to see that. Because I have no time. Uh, okay, and a uh, few last words. Um, okay, going into this, I thought, uh, okay, I'm still going to watch anime online illegally. But you know what? I'm going to make sure I buy the DVDs. And, uh, you know... I did that for two series. I started watching Shippuden dubbed online, stream free, and the same thing with Kenichi. And you know what? I realize now that that was wrong of me. Wrong of me. Who was texting me? Okay. I realize now that that was wrong for, of me, and that uh, you know I knew I was gonna buy the DVDs, but that was still wrong because you know the DVDs are already out. Kenichi's DVDs already out. Shippuden DVDs already out. There should be no need for me to watch it online free illegally. You know if I could just buy the DVDs. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm only in episode 15 in Shippuden and Ten and Kenichi. So I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna buy the DVDs eventually. And what actually uh, inspired me to do that were people on YouTube. You know, I saw people on, in the bulletins and like uh, comments and videos saying that they were gonna stop watching anime legally, like for good, or like they were gonna watch more anime for, uh, legally. Uh, you know what? Seeing that. That really touched me. That uh, that inspired me to stop. So I'm gonna stop completely. I'm never gonna watch anime legally again, ever again. And you know that that, that could be hard for some people. Uh, you know, it's like an addiction. I mean, it really is. Why well, anime online free? It really is like an addiction. But um, I'm gonna stop. Most of my anime I watch on Funimation anyway, so it shouldn't be too hard for me. And uh, uh I guess that's. I have a feeling I have a feeling I have to say so much more shit. And if I do, I know I do, I'm gonna just say it um next episode. Alright, but that's all I have to say. Oh that's 
I do have to say something else. Okay, that's my choice to um uh, to not watch anime anymore illegally. Uh, you know, it's whatever you guys do, it's your choice, your free will. Um, you know, it's your conscience. My conscience is is clean. You know, until I do something reckless, like on the weekends or something. <coughs> okay. Um. All right, that's it. All right, this is right arm of Edward Elric. The right arm, eight syllables. Asking all of you guys, what are you doing to sustain the industry? Bye.